I didn't, he's, he was drunk na siezi sema ni ulevi kuza mekua kini mentionia yu kitu sana. We unajifanya na yu condition yako. Si itambui. Si itambui yu condition yako. And I'm like, ni sawa tu. Enda ukakufe. Enda ukakufe na uko. Takuzika. Supigia madhako umuambivu ndiyo nasema. I'm like, hey, okay. Nilimuliza. We siwe unapea na uhai. Nona. Hata nikikufa. Siezi kufa. Siezi kufa. Kwa nini na watoto wangu ni wachie nani na weu. Hata 50 bobu wezi provide ya shaving. Mm. Mtu aneza fikiria niko pregnant, but this is the condition inaitua adenomyosis. It enlarges the uterus and uterus when it's enlarged, there is so much pain on your lower abdomen and on pelvic, like me upata back pain sana and my legs zina kuwa numb na saa zingine hata siezi tembea mimi naitwa Clara Bashoki Murevi um 40 years old turning 41 this January 19 I'm a mother of two boys 17 and 12 and nimekuwa nikisafa from endometriosis and adenomyosis mm. for the last 12 years mm. and the journey has not been smooth yeah especially cuz mimi ndio breadwinner mimi ndio naenda ku hustle i do nimefanya hotel management and job kuna saa zile saa zingine haupati job but nimekuwa niki hustle mpaka mm. kwa nyumba mm. nafanya kazi za nyumba just to meet the, to meet the ends mm. mtoto wa kwanza ako form ako form 3 mm. anasomea kangema high mm -hmm. pili ako milimani primary mm. ako class 6 mm -hmm. yes okay so mm. when mtu akikuona mara ya kwanza mm. anaweza thani you are expecting a baby yes mm -hmm. yes yeah ni hivyo ndio sisi watu wa adenomyosis na endo inakuanga like eh huyo mama atawaiza hiyo mimba amebeba for long but it's the tumor inakuanga ime grow in enlarge the uterus this is a tumor yeah it's a tumor iko mm -hmm. inside the uterus cuz adenomyosis it's a tumor and it grow inside the uterus and endometriosis ni tumor ni scar tissue ziko, ziko outside the uterus mm. so yenye inani affect sana ni adenomyosis cuz niko na endometriosis ya one ovary on my right so that one need needs to be removed and yeah nimezoea kushinda watu wakiniangalia funny unaona hata mtu anani excuse kwa kiti nikae cuz anaona niko expectant but hata vile nilienda kuona daktari wangu Patel akani examine he said it's like I'm five months pregnant and there's nothing you can do hakuna medication nimejaribu hormonal pills i've changed my diet i don't do wheat i don't do dairy i don't i do a lot of things i don't take a vitu mingi sikulangi just to make sure niko comfortable with everything but still especially my legs sina ni umanga sana i cannot even cook since pika na ni kupikia my son who is now in school now the one in milimani umanya kwa class yes how old is he 12 mm. so akikuja na mtusaidia kukatakata vitungu na he does the rest kama ni ugali hata ashajua kupika hadi ugali sasa zingine na kanda unga ya chapo. Mzee sasa re nani atapika chapo? 
Yo mom don't worry. Tapika, mtapika haraka haraka. Nakuja na stool, na roll, na yeye anakuja na stove hapa. Tunapika. Kwa siezi si mama. Kama siezi kabisa no chapos, no madazis, no nothing. Mure yake. Yaani mnakula tu. Hmm. Chakule mwenye mtoto wangu ataweza kupika. But na kufua? Kufua I don't fua, I don't do laundry. Hmm. Niliacha kufua around 2020, 2017 ndio nilishindwa kabisa cause nikifua I get sick. Siezi toka bed for three days. No man everything. So like when my son akienda shule, the first born, aliacha amenifulia nguo zote zenye zilikuwa chafu. Hmm. Kama ni curtains akafua, hizi liners za huko akafua. So I'm wondering nani atanifulia my hubby kuna saa zingine anafua but kuna complaints all the time na afui saa zile nataka atafua saa zile amejisikia atani threaten sitafua tena sitakufulia hizo nguo tena actually just the other day we had a fight he did he was drunk na siezi sema ni ulevi cuz amekuwa kinimeshonia hiyo kitu sana wewe unajifanya na hiyo condition yako si tambui sitambui hiyo condition yako I'm like ni sawa tu enda ukakufe enda ukakufe na huko takuzika sipigie madhako umwambie hivyo ndio nasema I'm like hey, okay niliswalo hiyo pill like mimi ndio na hustle mkule ndio nafanya everything kama ni token mimi hutumia token sana because every time at sai hot water bottle yangu iko huko lazima i warm water for my legs and for my abdomen na yakelea hapa bills hazi yani i'm um, iko exhausted na bills niko na mtu hapa na hanisaidi yeye ni akunywe hataki kuongeleshwa it's crazy fees atajui hata nilimwambia si wapatie 50 bob wenda wakanyolea i waited for that 50 bob for about sijui 3 days tuseme mimi hajani support anywhere nah. na nikumbembeleza ani support mm. niki feel pain mimi niende dawa kuna dawa zingine mimi kunywa za muscles za ku relax muscle nikimtuma na do extra hata rudi ataenda zingine atei so mimi namgojea namgojea mimi naumwa hapa siezi toka labda watu wa hawako yeah. it, it, it mimi me nitake energy yangu ya tabada za god cuz hata watu husema even my doctor to ask me are you 40 really ame yeah by grace of god na mimi uomba sana nipate nguvu ya kuolea watoto hata vile baba aliniambia naweza kufa nilimuuliza wewe si wewe unapeana uhai. Unaona? Hata nikikufa siezi kufa. Siezi kufa. Kwa nini na watoto wangu niwaachie nani na wewe hata 50 bob wezi provide ya shaving. Mm. But God's great is sufficient. Mm. I say so all the time. Kuna sema hivyo mm. yeah. Kuna watu wanakuuliza anga bado unafanya nini na yeye kama kusafuka yeah, na yeah. kutusi. Yes, my friends my friends hata kuna msichana mwingine yako Denmark yeye yeah, alisema haizi ni support tena cuz unaona namwambia rent niko na Marias niko na maleta za za kuambua na chujua keja so unaona nimeluza a lot of friends sub mm. yake rasikia mtu anasema sasa huyo ni yeye kila kitu ashinde akikuimbia hakuna nini unakosa hadi za pads mimi nishakosa hadi za pads na hii condition na hii condition at, yes hata saa hizi nashindwa ni pads saa hizi nitaenda pale naivas ninunue pads ama ni pesa ya mtu ya kwenda shule kwa sababu anatumia nga transport means ya kwenda shule anatumia matatu and anatumia 50 bob kwenda na kurudi na kuna lunch ya 50 bob wanakula shule na kuna 20 bob that is 170 every day so hata sasa ina gamble niende ni buy pads 50 bob na nani hizo labda zitanichoma mm, tutanunua tu after hapa sawa takanza siku 2 3 tatu 
kushinda cause my periods are supposed to start on Saturday mm. so na, na gamble tu sema sitakaa mtoto atakosa kwenda shule sababu nataka kununua pads hiyo siku itajililia is it because unataka watoto wako wako na father figure ama ni nini maybe niyo but sidhani i don't know i'm confused i've been confused cause kuna time nilitoka back in 2012 2011 there then tulikuwa tunaishi Mombasa na nikakuja huko ni mimi nikakuwa house girl hapa Valley Kid na saa ni mimi nilikuwa na msupport akiwa na huko tukarudiana tukakuja hapa tulikuwa tunaishi kwa nyumba ya babati kwa hapa hii when hii kakuwa vacant tukakuja na since then mimi nimekuwa nikilipa rent ni mimi hata mtoto wangu kutairi my first born he did not know what was going on being a father being uyo ndio first born wako he did not know hakujua mm. mimi nilishughulika kila kitu tukakuwa na kapati that was in a nyuki nilimpeleka kwetu because anafaa kwenda kwao but sasa mtu hata hayuko in the house hata anasema nikipata job na ringa but mimi siwezi mpatia pesa yangu aende yakunywe so i mean i'm in charge mm atana unaona saa zingine anachukua anaenda kwa simu yangu ana deduct pesa ana anasahau ku delete so i had to change my mpesa pin na hebu nikuulize yes. mtoto wa 12 years mm-hmm. daktari walikuwa wamesema uwezi pata mtoto yes yes cause, because nilikuwa nimepata nilikuwa na second born a girl and she passed on yes. on delivery sorry ilikuwa bleach Uh, bath so walikuwa natoka na miguu so and ile hosi nili nilipelekwa haikuwa na theater or anything so wali have kumvuta for almost one hour so the girl was tired and she passed on Sorry. so there nikamwa saizi tulia hata sipo ukipata bon tena nilikuwa na hizo cramping all the time so kupata mtu hii pia inakuwa ni shida but god sio mtu nilipata mwingine kwa siku anataka mtoto mmoja actually nilikuwa nataka wawili so after one year i conceived we were 12 years hata siku anatumia ti any treatment or nothing it just happened and though it happened na symptoms sasa zikaamka zote from there life imekuwa very difficult mm-hmm. because nilimpata na CS because alikuwa mkubwa sana kwangu. Hii nyumba mnalipa pesa ngapi? Hii nyumba tunalipa 7500. Na imekuwa challenge because siko job. Nilikuwa nafanya job but nilisimamishwa because CS ifanya job vile bosa nataka. One day niko okay another day i'm not okay so nikasimamishwa so bills zimekuwa zikipile like this house jalipa kutoka november nani uh, na keep strong ni watoi wangu oh ndio huwa nipe energy every day wana nipe nguvu mam everything will be okay soon sasa zingine maybe wana ni challenge wananiambia mama vile ulikuwa unatupikia tukitoka shule tunapata hot chocolate sasa hizi tukikuja umelala tu watu sijali utakuwa tu sawa i thank god niko na watoto cause kuna wenye wanatola hizo uterus na hawana na wako na wanaume wana wa abuse na kuko kwa toxic marriages mimi niko kwa toxic marriage but niko na watoto. Na hmm. watoto naombea tu Mungu wasome kwa bidii hiyo cuz siwezi wapatia kitu kingine isipokuwa hiyo masomo na struggle wasome. Na tu wanafukuzwa shule, narudi hapa, napata Kenya napata, anarudi pocket money itoshi, Kenya niko nacho, enda. 
but I know education will do them good. Exactly. Will do them good. Na sai Clara Nicolise, mm. iyo operation mm. tunafaa ufanywe wapi na ni how much? Ah, uh, operation nafaa nifanywe Aga Khan Hospital. Uh, ni 650,000. Ina husiana na nini the whole operation? The whole operation mm. is ni kutolewa the whole uterus and one of my ovaries cuz ni gonjwa and fallopian tube even my cervix it's like a total straight to me a total whole thing so nafa kwenda gakan kuzu kondio kuna my specialists who can handle my condition na naomba mungu tu hiyo pesa ipatikane ni 650 yeah it's mm-hmm. 650000 vile niliambiwa hivyo niliona ni mlima but najua si mlima eh najua Mungu yuko hata kama sina unajua unaangalia huna rent so mtu anakuambia 650 alafu alafu unajua hii surgery haichukui hakuna NHF si vile ati unaweza sema NHF will take part of it NHF doesn't cover this does one. not does not cover I don't know kwa hose zingine but aga can they don't mm. they don't mm. yeah but na believe mungu mm. atanionekania the right time amen yes na mm. tayari shule itapatikana hata ya shule hata ya rent itapatikana yes. nasema ni 7500 yes, itapatikana yes. bado yes. sawa yes. eh ongea na wa Kenya mimi vile ningewauliza wa Kenya wenzangu my brothers and sisters munisaidie niweze ku raise your pesa 650 i get my life back na i need sababu ya watoto wangu hiyo ni maombi yangu mtu yote tu anisaidie na chochote anaweza barikiwa nacho anything any amount it help hata kama ni shilingi kwa za million haiwezi ja without that shilling ninaomba tu munisaidie my main purpose ni kuwe sawa ndio niweze kusimama na watoto wangu hmm. i become mother again na si mama wa kulala saa yote sababu anaumwa i stand on my feet tafadhali hmm. yes ongea na watoto wako Dave. He's my first boy. He's my strength. Tasa zile na violate wa hapa na baba yao. He protects me. Sana. Na kuombe ya Mungu hata wewe ukipata nyumba yako, uprotect nyumba yako. Na usome kwa bidii. Cuz that is all I can give you for now na kupela vyangu yote akuombea tu Mungu akupe strength usikuwe challenged na marriage ya mama yako na babako hata ukiwa challenged come out strong and Ture he's my last born he's my baby he yeah, is a jovial boy na kuombea Mungu uendelee tu hivyo na usome kwa bidii i thank you for putting a smile to me on at sazile sina moods unaniambia nga mama tuna fight na within a few minutes tuko sawa you are my strength you are my strength my boy mm-hmm. na Mungu akubariki na nawapenda nawapenda tu sana and we'll come out well and Mungu yuko unajua sisi tu watu naomba we will believe in god this family will believe in god na kila kitu itakuwa sawa amen sawa na kila kitu itakuwa sawa amen uendelee kukuwa strong ni sawa na watu wangu watuko 
please kaa kuna venye mtu anaweza saidia Clara bili yake ya hosi ni 650000 aende operation na pia muombe akina jo mtacheza tu kaa nini watu wangu so let's help her where we can and thank you so much for watching Thank you so much.